Boris Johnson has effectively turned the tables on Michel Barnier and the EU by setting an October 15 deadline for the conclusion of trade talks, a Brexiteer MP has said. And David Jones, deputy chairman of the Eurosceptic European Research Group, ERG, said the EU's negotiator would do well to heed one of his favorite phrases, explaining, the clock is ticking. However, the MP for Cluid West said he remains pessimistic about the prospects of an agreement, despite a recent suggestion by James Forsyth, political editor of The Spectator, that both sides were edging towards a deal. Mr. Johnson earlier this month set the deadline as he confirmed the publication of the Internal Market Bill, which if given royal assent will controversially grant the UK government powers to override aspects of the withdrawal agreement relating to Northern Ireland. Mr. Jones said there was so little time left, especially given Mr. Johnson's deadline, which would appear to override to December 31st one which will mark the end of the transition period. He said, frankly it isnt three months anymore when you think about it because Boris already gave them this deadline so effectively we are talking about two and a half weeks. Mr. Barnier is well known for his timepiece-related metaphor, but Mr. Jones suggested it was now one Brussels needed to apply to itself. He explained, it's quite a good one to use because the tables are turned now. The clock is ticking, for the European Union. Referring to Mr. Forsyth's prediction, he said, I have no idea where he got that from. It seems to me that every time you look at it there seems to be more and more areas of disagreement. The EU is still demanding that their red lines are addressed. And if they expect that then there's not going to be a deal is there. Speaking today, Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster Michael Gove insisted clauses of the Internal Market Bill which override the withdrawal agreement would remain, irrespective of EU demands that they be scrapped. Speaking after talks with European Commission Vice President Maro Sefcovic, Mr. Gove told reporters, we want to make sure that the withdrawal agreement is implemented in full.